Look in the mirror, scream self love. Look in the mirror, scream self love. Self love, kill your demons. Self love, heal your heart. Self love, give you confidence. The confidence that you need, huh? It kill you all your insecurities, huh? Self love. Talk about in my book. My Esau Times bestseller, Black in Business. Um, the point I wanted to relay here, um, oh, I got some of the same stuff. What well, really was just teamwork. Uh, teamwork is what helped bring the community together. Without the team, you can achieve no dream. Um, Coach Weber will tell you, if you're playing a, in a basketball game, one against five, more than likely the person that's won is going to lose. So that's kind of what I had uh, brought from that book. Oh, also, education. Education. So this is a, a combination of just, I, I would say, common sense. And it's kind of a word I made up myself. But I, I said education in a book. And um, what, I, what I discovered throughout my life, um, you know, my kids, I have kids. I have a, a son that's in the seventh grade and I also have a six-year-old. And they're like, why we got to go to school? You know, sometimes you wonder, like, why am I in school for? Well, you're here. Well, you, okay, I'm about to tell you. You're here to learn how to solve problems, math problems, science problems, English problems. So you learn how to solve problems in school. So when you become an adult, then you really know how to solve problems. And that's how you make money, by solving problems. The more problems you can solve, the more money you can make. And you can ask anybody up in here. But, uh, yes, also, remember, literacy, literacy, reading helps you solve problems. The better you can read, the more literate you are, the more problems you'll be able to solve, the more words you'll know, the more ways you'll be able to figure out how to come up with a resolution or a cost-effective solution. So, again, what is broke can be fixed. These are our key takeaways. So when I say what is broke can be fixed is the black community, everybody say, oh, they don't have this, they don't have that. Well, they don't, but it can still be fixed with some teamwork and some unity. Um, and again, everyone is great, but only a few are going to choose to be. Every, everybody here can do something special with their life, but who's going to get up and put the work in to do that? Whatever it is you want to do, I don't care what it is or how easy it is, you're still going to have to do some type of work. And that's kind of what school teaches you, how to put the, put the work in to achieve a certain goal. And remember, black history is a part of American history. We don't want to separate the two because that's what confuses everybody and makes it feel like we don't have anything. We're, here, we're Americans as well. So this black history that we're talking about is a big part of American history, even if it isn't getting taught like that. So I just want everybody to understand that. And that's all I have. So anybody have any questions, any thoughts? I've seen the hand pop up. Question. Yes. What about um, people that, like, were there any white people that came around Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you said they ruined it? Like white people. Like, what do you mean they came around? I mean, they came around, and I'm pretty sure they, uh, were they, were they like, prevalent as far as owning businesses and companies and stuff like that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie. To be honest, deep dudes, it's, it's, not a lot of, it's not a lot of information out on it. You don't see a lot of documents. Um, I, I did quite a bit of research, and if you Google the deep dudes, um, it's almost all on one Google page. It's a few blog blurbs about it. But to really get the deep deuce history, you probably have to go to the historical Oklahoma Historical Museum to really get all the official artifacts, uh, the paperwork, different, huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, they was down there, though. I'm pretty sure they were down there. I just wasn't there, so I don't know, 100%. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you have a question? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. Have you been to Bricktown in Oklahoma City? What? Okay, well, back then it didn't have all the brick roads. Um, it was a little bit more industrial. It had more um, industrious buildings like factories and things like that. Um, so, no, nah, it doesn't look the same as it. It doesn't look anything like this now. Yes, sir. I made eight. I, I've made eight books. Well, really, I'm on nine right now, but, yeah. I write. I write a lot. That's what I get out of what we do. Yes, sir. That's a good question. And that's why I said it's American history. You see, black people felt like, well, we, 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 we don't have anything. We're oppressed people. We came out of slavery. So the government, for some reason, you know, decided to give them, uh, black people, Black History Month. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know all the facts into what started Black History Month. But if you ask me, I feel kind of I, I kind of like with you, you know, I feel like making Black History Month separates black people from America. And like we said, we're all Americans. So I went, when I studied history when I was in college, 
I had a wonderful, amazing teacher. She taught me um, U.S. history, 1865 to present, and she didn't skip a beat. She talked about the black part of it. She talked about the white part of it. Everybody's part that was involved in the building of America to where we're at today, the Reconstruction area, uh, all, all these different um, eras of America that, you know, just sometimes you had a time to talk about it. But, yeah, to answer your question, I don't know the exact reason why they did it, but it was done to um, give black people something to be proud about, if I had to take a guess on it. Um, I don't know the exact reason, but it's something that black people can use and they can look back. Yeah, look, look in the mirror, scream self-love. Look in the mirror, scream self-love. Self-love kill your demons. Self-love heal your heart. Self-love give you confidence. The confidence that you need, huh? It kill you all your insecurities, huh? Self-love.